Hi, I'm Jennifer Clark, the Arizona Grocery Guru, and I'm going to go over some pointers for coupon cleanse. One of the most important things when you're using coupon cleanse is to know how to label your Sunday coupons. There's a specific way we do that here in Arizona for coupon cleanse. This is the bucket I keep my coupons in. This is not something I take with me to the store, so don't get scared. You're not going to make, need to put this in the car and take this with you. But every Sunday is given a letter of the alphabet because Sunday is when the coupons come out. So the first Sunday of the year was letter A. Then the following Sunday when the coupons came out, that was letter B, and then letter C, and so on, until we get to Z sometime in July, and it goes back to A again. So every Sunday is given a letter of the alphabet. I'm going to show you what I mean here. Let's go ahead and pull out week Z. Week Z had this insert in it. It was a Procter & Gamble insert. I got several newspapers that week so that I could maximize my savings. And what all I did was take a Sharpie marker and write C 601 through 662. That means there's 62 coupons in this insert of coupons. And the first grocery coupon in there would be Z601, which would be this nice and easy product. That's Z601, Z602, Z603. I do not need to label each and every coupon. That would be time consuming and a waste of time. Um, but I know that if I'm looking for Z610, the bounty paper towels, that it'll be a few pages in and I'm looking for bounty paper towels. I don't have to sit there and label each and every coupon. So I just label those coupons and stick them back in week Z. Another good example would probably be week X. <clears throat> week X, there were a few different coupons inserts that came out that week. So week X, sometime in December, because it was almost the end of the year. Um, actually, I can tell on the side there's a little tiny date. So this one was published 12-4-2008, which was week X. So I took all my coupons out of the paper. I don't have to sit there and cut out each and every one of them. That would be wasting my time. So what I do is I just put the staple in there, keep it like a booklet like it is, because Coupon Central knows in their database every coupon that's come out. It will tell me where it is in this library of so it'll tell me um, every Sunday, okay, there's three inserts that came out, one that has Procter & Gamble on the front, one that has Discover Card on the front, one that has a uh, Red Plum logo with cakes on the front of it. It will tell me this. What I do then is it'll tell me even further. Procter & Gamble has 26 coupons in their insert. So why don't we label that week X601 through 626 for the, six, the 26 coupons that are in this one. Then, on the one that is the Discover Card insert, write X201 through 269. There are 69 coupons in this insert. Then on the Red Plum insert, write X1 through 40. There are 40 coupons in that one. So we've just created a little library system for our coupons. Because when they tell me, hmm, let's find a good example here, that Mama Bella is X, um, X7, I can go a few pages in, and find the Mama Bella garlic bread. Now, since I have several inserts, at this time, if it was a really good deal, if that Mama Bella garlic bread was 50 cents and I wanted to stock up on it, I could cut out several coupons, or I might just choose to do one or two, depending on how many I need for my family. But all I have to do at that point is take the coupons that I got in the paper, stick them in week X, I don't even have to look at the coupons when I get them out of the paper. I just stick them in the week. Then, when I click on the You'll Play Yogurt, the Dawn Dish Detergent, and the Tostino's Pizza Rolls, it'll tell me what coupons to go get out of my pocket. It'll say the Tostino's Pizza Rolls were A411, and the Dawn Dish Detergent was B12. And it will tell me where to go to get those coupons out to go to the store at that time. So if you can understand the A through Z system, if you can understand that every Sunday you get your coupons out, you go to the website and you uh, write down on the front of the insert what the code is and you stick it in that week. If you can understand that that's all you do is put that in there and then create your shopping list and go get your coupons when you're ready to go, then you'll, you'll really have the hardest part of the system down pat.